just west of Haiti's capital. There are hundreds missing and thousands dead, and rescue workers are searching through the rubble. Let's go live on location to Joe, who is standing by and who fills in on more information. Thank you, Penelope. Yes, I am here at the terrible scene. As you can see, there are buildings falling, and there is rubble everywhere. There are hundreds dead and thousands missing. I have a couple here. Tell us about your devastating story. We woke up to the ground shaking. We went to go wake up the kids, and as we ran out the door, everything caved in. Everything was gone. And yours? I've lost everything. My house, my two beautiful children. It's only a matter of seconds, and my whole world is crumbling. Everything is destroyed. To get more clarification on this devastating disaster, I welcome in our scientist. Car Carter. How well were the people of Haiti living before the earthquake? Well, their living ways were not suitable like our lives today, Jordan. 86% of people in Port-au-Prince were living in some con conditions, mostly tightly packed, poorly built concrete buildings. That would have been horrible. And th that's just before the earthquake. Now what caused the earthquake? The plate. cause of the earthquake was from the plates of the earth shifting. The epicenter was near the town of Lingar. This is Penelope with your latest news update right here on Channel 63 in Calgary.